Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ava of American Wigs and Fashion Boutique, and today I would like to go over the golden rules of owning a lace wig. If you want the best results from your lace wig unit, there are certain do's and don'ts and maintenance that must be done for the longevity of your lace wig unit. Here are a few rules to follow if you plan to maintain the unit on your own. You can have a wonderful experience or you can have a horrible one. That will be determined by you, the individual. Follow these instructions for a wonderful one. A lace wig unit needs to be washed at least once or twice a week. Twice a week is better if it's a curly or wavy wig. Sometimes you can get away with once a week for a straight wig, but I still recommend twice a week. There's no such thing as too much washing. This keeps the hair looking new, bouncy, fresh looking. After a few days of wear, a lace wigs get very oily from the skin, sweating, and buildup of products. The wig then loses its bounce, and the buildup of products and oil then weighs the hair down, making it stiff, and the bounce is gone. Keeping it clean helps to alleviate this. A straight wig should be combed at least two to three times a day, especially the nap of the neck area because it's mixing with your clothes as you are moving your head throughout the day. Use a wide tooth comb and comb from the bottom going up to the roots. Never force the hair, never force the comb through the hair as it will pop. Never use spritzes, holding sprays, leave-in conditioners, or anything that will harden the hair. This will truly cause the hair to break and shed tr prematurely when you comb it. These products create a hard barrier on the hair and when combed will break the hair. If you do decide to use these products because you want to hold curls or waves in place, then these products must be washed out of the hair before combing. Never ever sleep on the hair loose, especially on cotton pillowcases and sheets. This will truly tangle the hair very badly. If by chance you do sleep on the hair, you need to wash it the next day. Always wrap the hair up, tie it down, and put it under a bonnet. When combing your lace wig unit, please comb from the bottom going up. With a white tooth comb, breaking up any snags along the way. Never force a comb through the hair as you will truly break it off. Remember, you have a durable, but yet delicate product. Make sure the unit roots are combed through once you comb the bottom first. Never ever sleep on the lace wig unit wet or moist, as the wig will mat up. Always wash the hair early enough in the day that it is completely dry when you go to bed. For washing the lace wig units, I recommend Redken's Shampoo and Redken's Conditioner. All shampoos are not made for a lace wig unit. After the hair is dry from washing, please add moisture to the hair to keep it from drying out. If the unit dries out, it will pop and shed. I highly recommend our Silk Serum as it has a detangling agent in it and it will stop shedding. You only need a small amount, maybe a dime-sized piece or so, which is evenly distributed through the hair. You don't need to use it every day, but definitely after each wash and then as needed. No other products need to be used on the wig. Silk Serum is all you need. Curly and wavy wigs can't be combed daily like a straight wig can. Never scratch in the unit as you will loosen the knots at the base and then when you comb the wig it will shed. If the scalp does get itchy, I advise that you pat it or squeeze some scalpelson at the roots to stop the itching. Lace wig units can generally last six months to a year if you have a higher grade of hair. Indian Remy hair usually lasts maybe three months 
to six months or longer. But that will depend on the individual, the grade of hair, and the maintenance that's being done. If by chance the wig does tangle due to low maintenance or neglect, the wig can be revived by a bleach valve as long as it is not matted or knotted up. We provide these services for $60. We would need the wig for at least 24 hours. A bath is recommended every month or two, but if the wig is washed often, you may never need a bath for several months. The unit can be curled or flat iron, but do know that heating elements can dry the hair, so make sure you use serum to add moisture. Please be advised that regular use of heating elements can be very damaging, just like it is to your own hair. I highly recommend using curling irons maybe once a week. Curvaceous curl, because this is used for curling your wavy hair. Again, saturate the wig with the shampoo.